Hi comrades and welcome back to uh, Let's Play of Distant Worlds Universe. So <laughs> I finished upgrading almost all of the designs except the freighters and the mining ships because I don't want the AI to upgrade those right now. Because first I want to build ships. Um, so here we go. I uh, want to build three cruisers. Three, there we go. And I will go to my ships menu, select uh, there's a military ships. There we go, here they are. I disable the automative uh, function, uh, select them all, and put them into the first fleet. Um, now, uh, my, here we go, these uh, triangles are my cruisers, so right now my, if we look at this, my um, space station is building three cruisers, it has four construction yards, so the private industry can use one slot if they want. Um, there we go. I'm doing this because I uh, don't want a hyperspace jump right now because um, this will trigger an event and I want to have my uh, ships uh, fighting force ready before that happens. So let's open here my first fleet option. There we go, you can see uh, this means they're still built under construction but once I am finished with this, uh, once they are finished uh, they will become available to uh, give them orders I will give them one specific order. There we go. My maneuvering is done, so I could upgrade my designs already. Military ship constructed. It's my first military ship. Uh, I've gained an admiral, fleet admiral. There we go. Uh, let's pause the game. First and foremost, let's take a look at the fleet admiral. Has a hyper jump speed bonus. Let's transfer him to the first fleet. And I should have a ship captain. Uh, let's put him on the Isfahan, which is the first of my cruisers. There we go, so I have two. What was that? Was that one of my cruisers? Yes, it was. Uh, I thought I... Yeah, they automatically jumped to... Uh, or will automatically jump here. But the thing is, yeah, I, I knew it. Uh, there are giant cultors uh, spawning when that happens, and they are attacking my bases. Okay, I think yeah, I need to repair my energy lab station. I will do that in a second. But first, let's. Do give me the order to retrofit my construction yard, uh, construction ships. So they will get the hyperspace jump. So that is the event. Uh, giant cult horse are spawning. Oh fuck. Wasn't that my research station? Is it gone? No, it was here, right? Oh, right. So, so um, once you do your first hyper jump, some giant Keltos are attracted to it. So they will, you know, jump in and attack everything that moves. So let's kill these space slugs, finally. There we go. There we go. And let's repair and refuel. And since that is done, let's grab my exploration ships. There we go. Both and retrofit to the newest design. There we go. While this is gone, uh, 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 now now we can. My English man. Now we can upgrade all these ships. So. Um, Manually upgrade this, and the thing, the problem is with these designs, I have to 
while this takes so long, I will have to replace basically everything. Except the iron thruster, I will keep them on the cheaper version of this. So, uh, there we go. I need the Garax hyperdrive. Uh, to power this, I need two fusion reactors. Yep, two fusion reactors to reach the maximum speed. And I need a uh, small fret. I didn't watch how many car cargo bays I think it was six. I'm pretty sure. And some fuel cells. Oh no, not, not docking bays. Fuel cells, uh, three. I want around four sectors of traveling range. No weapons, but give them one shield. 20 armor. I think that is fine. And a proximity array. Scanners, basically. And I need some life support and a head nodule, and that is it. Um, not very fast in some of the light travel, but it's fine. There we go, medium freighter, manually upgrade. Uh, he had six, okay. So I will give him some more. And that is gone. Garrix hyperdrive. Yeah, I know. This is why I did this basically for most of my designs off uh, off screen, so you don't have to watch it. Three. Uh, what? Let's give you standard or what? Well, costs dramatically less than standard armor, so I will give you. Standard armor instead, uh, and some few more iron thrusters. And am I missing something? Armor, oh, shields, a proximity array, right? Proximity array. And some head and life support. Head module and life support. So, hop back in here. Uh, let's get rid of the enhanced armor. Way too expensive, and put in standard armor. Um, this way, the designs are much more cheap, cheap, much cheaper. My English today sucks. Basically, my English sucks every time, but uh, every day, but well. Uh, that was bad. Uh, but yeah, let's put in some shit here. Um, there we go. Um, get Gerard's hyperdrive. I could do the war bubble generator, but this is not worth it. It's so bad. Two of those. Take a shield and standard cargo bay. 12 for good measure and standard fuel cells. There we go. Uh, do we need something more? Oh, I think that's fine. Let's give him a little bit more speed, right? Yeah, sure. There we go. Let's save that bitch. Sorry for swearing. No, not really. <laughs> uh, so these have this already. So let's give them the Garrett's hyperdrive. Some standard armor. Uh, two fission reactors. Fission, not fusion. Um, fusion is later. Uh, proximity array. Did I put a proximity array on the large freighter? I think I forgot. This happens with me all the time. That's why it takes so freaking long to build this shit. Head module life support. Let's check. Do I no I did not put a proximity array. There we go. And the last two, I swear. This is very, very boring. Get rid of the cargo bay. My cat is coming as well. Uh, let's keep these as cheap as possible. 
if they are not very standard cargo bay. Let's put two so they can grab more stuff. And let's actually put some fuel cells in so they can reach far and get stuff that I can't mine. There you go. And do I have proximity array? There we go. And life support and the head module. There we go. Uh, uh, very, very slow. Anyway, save this. And the last one. The last one. Standard armor. Boom, 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 boom. Let's put it. God, I will need it anyway. So there we go. Fusion reactor, two of those. Um, standard fuel cells. Oh, fuck. And cargo bay. There we go. That is that. And here we go. Now that I did all that, you see retrofit is automatic. So they will automatically retrofit. I will reject the security thing. And here we go. So this is the range of my first fleet. Uh, you might think it's overboard, but if you, you know, jump all the time, uh, it will take a lot of time to, uh, it will take a lot of fuel, actually. That is what I want to talk about. So there we go. Uh, construction yards. They are retrofitting. Let's run a little bit. Okay, my advisor wants me to colonize the uh, planet, which I will do once my uh, explorers have uh, been exploring the system so I can see what I have to deal with. And I will manually uh, leave the automation on build two more troop regiments because I will have to build a troop transport. What did I just research? I another fleet admiral, which I don't need. Uh, yeah, he's probably he has a off. Targeting ship maneuvering weapons increase. You know what? You no 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 no. You will be commanding the first fleet from now. And yeah. Look at this shit. Maneuvering weapons damage is in decreased and targeting because he's a poor space attacker. Why the fuck are you are you going into the the fleet admiral business if you don't you know know how to command a fleet? This sucks. Yeah, whatever. So my fleet is actually ready, but. Yeah, and we got improved shields now. I'm so flying through the whole... Yeah, my research station is done for. What about my construction ship? Oh, it's done. So I can... What is this? That's a resupply ship. Uh, those are freaking strong. They have, like, a lot of shields. Uh... Thousand shields, firepower, so I will have to pay them off, unfortunately. 511 credits per month, that sucks, but oh well, I can handle it. Okay, count new skill countermeasures, that's great. I did send my construction ship to uh, to repair, and it's already done. No, it's not. Okay, how about my exploration ship? It's still retrofitting. More shields. I love more shields.
There we go. The energy net is back online. Yeah. So now, my, if we take a look at the space top, you can see that uh, retrofitting is uh, kind of uh, keeping my space station busy. Um, so. My ships are actually waiting to be retrofitted, which is kind of unfortunate. Uh, if if I would have done it perfectly, my uh, all my state ships, the few that I had, would have been done before I was uh, before I retrofitting private ships. Oh well, you can't have everything, right? So they still have the mission to retrofit. And there we go. Uh, this guy is ready, so let's send him to the Maxil system. Preparing, and boom, there he goes. There we go. Uh, the second one is ready as well, so we will send him to this unknown system. There we go, we're on the next seal system. So, look at... oh, fuck my life. So these guys... whoa. Yep, independent colony is covered. Let's see. Tidarius, a hidden pirate base. Now the thing is, he has cruisers and frigates all around it. Um, they have 200 shields, 85 firepower on the destroyers. The cruiser, is that a cruiser? Cool. He has 1,100 shields, mine have 500, I think. Uh, I need a high-tech, um, uh, high-tech, uh, science project. So, uh, long-range scanners are very, very important. Okay, let's, uh, Explore this system, so he will now jump to every planet and explore it. Uh, yeah, that is unfortunate. Uh, I'm not sure they will let me colonize it just like that. I probably have to kill them. So we have fuel, it says somewhere. Probably here. No. Oh, the planet has fuel. That might be it. Lithium. Pisterian skin, very nice. There was something over there. They have fight. I don't. I'm pretty sure they managed to capture this thing. Or like. Firepower 272. What the freaking fuck? Okay, I can't beat that ship. But here come my mining ships. Gas mining ships. They will mine the stuff there. How many planets do I have here? Five planets, six moons. Let's take a look. You explore the system. There we go. And uh, I will now proceed and build a colony ship here, because I will need it at some point. There we go. It will take a lot of time. Colony ships are very expensive. You have no mission. So he explored this system. Um, I will have to think about how to deal with the pirates. Because if you look at the, these are the Black Fang. They have one ship with two over 200 firepower, which is a lot. So, the Burning Moraders offer protection. Uh, so I have a new ship captain that came on the Grand Dictator, which is probably one of my uh, bigger ships. So here you can see it will... Ah, here we have Kesslon here and Helium. 
and some other stuff. So I will probably uh, gather some resources there. Let's explore. This system is not that big. Let's see what do we have for plants here. Baron, 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 Baron. Dance plants with Baron moons and this as a desert moon. No, ice moon, ice moon. Wow, but 20 quality. So nothing to write home about. Uh, you go here. Okay, some Ethylon Emerus Crystal. Uh, yeah, so how can I deal with these guys? I won't change my deals with the pirate yet. My military strength is like one tenth of these guys, not, <laughs> not even. Um, the thing is, I could build like new ships, but at the moment, all my uh, my construction yards are actually um, uh, rebuilding uh, or refitting the private ships, so I won't do that. What I will do though is I will build a gas mining station here. Also, it has a bonus to high tech research. Um, yeah, and I will also build a gas mining station here. There we go. So I will use this system basically as a mining platform for now. You are already here, so let's move and explore this unknown system. And here we go, you can see my construction ship is moving up. And my engineers have increased my knowledge. Of torpedo weapons. So, my power is rising, but not that much, actually. Oh. Pirates offer Empire Contact. I will spend money on that. The Ikuro Realm. Way of Darkness. Whoa! Way of Darkness is a government form that is a you can find in a ruin. Or, uh, like, through events. It's the... You have two... I wanted to touch that when once I uh, met meet the Imperial Guard. Uh, what are they called? I don't know. Guardians, basically. They have uh, the empire, the government form, way of light, or something. So basically, it's the two evil or good powers. These guys so turned evil. They also have two colonies already, which is kind of bad. And the. Galactic Championship in Todash are here. So here we go, we have another system here. Let's check, this is a ocean planet with a barren moon. Gas giant with a barren moon. Frozen gas giant with two barren moons and another frozen gas giant with probably nothing. Where are you going? They're like, oh, asteroids. He's checking asteroids. So what about this thing? Two planets, two moons. He is finished. Let's go here. Oh, no, 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 no. Explore this. There we go. So, yeah. I really, really, really want to uh, get this star system, but it's, it will not be as easy as I thought. As I thought. So... Let's see. First, let's grab here some... some. Oh, there you go, you can see my private ships moving around as well. They will start, probably start to... And I will queue this up, actually. Uh, build a mining station here. No scenic locations. But well, there is like a research uh, location here, which I will probably have to check out. 6.5 moons, there we go. And, ooh, you see that? Uh, there is a other, n another Nexilium colony here. 
and they have a star base around this. And another fucking powerful cruiser. What the freaking fuck? It's a Ice Moon, 81 quality, very small. And they're actually fighting on here, the pirates. They have a hidden pirate fortress. After that, they can take over this fucking colony. I will have to... I will have to... I will have to check them. That is not how I want to move things forward. The pirates, as you can see, the pirates can take over colonies. They can. So let's check my construction yards. There are still some things being built, but I think it's time for me to step up my uh, game here. So I will proceed by pumping out another three exploration ships. And then I will go to, because I'm maxed here, so I can 17 billion. Increase the tax rate to 25%. Let's see what this does for me. If I'm staying positive in happiness. Oh, I am. Oh, I am. I could go even higher, but I don't want to. So, now that I have the cash flow, I will build cruisers. More cruisers. Nine more cruisers. And another construction ship. That is fine with me because that will not be built there. Uh, I will have to go into my military ships here. Take off the automation. And put the new build, uh, building cruisers into my first fleet. There we go. No thanks. So let's check. What do I have here? Anyway, barren planets with barren moons. Another barren planet. And this is like. Yeah, I will have to. Yeah. I will have to fight the freaking pirates. This will be freaking difficult. Well. Once I'm, get, I'm getting rid of them, that will be, you know, pretty easy, but there we go. I've built gas mining station on the this planet. So that means I can... I have fuel in this system as well, so my ships can f fuel up here or here now. Ultranta Minor has only one planet. And some asteroids, apparently. So it has gold. This is pretty much worthless. Okay. I think uh, my new... Yeah, here we go. My new uh, exploration ships are automated. So I will automate this one as well. And I will automate this one as well. So I have my closest... Ooh. My uh, closest neighbors scouted. Let's build something here. That is nice. And uh, neighbor systems scouted. So I can now automate my uh, scouts. My transport ships will transport stuff away. So here we go. You can see my cruisers are now being built. Um, military ships are uh, taking priority in these cases. So, if you queue up military ships, the buildings will be finished for uh, other ships. Let's see which, which pirate. Which pirate faction was that? I can't remember. It was one of the others, right? Burning Marauders? Fuck. Even true. They are so powerful and I'm not. Yeah, 